Oh, yes, my... Hi, big boy. What Francesca likes to do, and this includes her douche crew over at MTV News, they like to slip in middle fingers towards white people. You're the reason why I made my response to the MTV video. Because you can be such an asshole. You're the type of guy that all women want. Just look at those aviator glasses. I'm triggering. I am already triggering. It has gotten to the point where it doesn't even take an image of her from this channel for me to trigger. You can come trigger a little old lady like me anytime you want, big boy. White beauty standards are when whiteness is the default and it becomes the cultural ideal for beauty. Now this is where we're gonna kick off a whole different conversation. This is where Autopsy 87 becomes retarded. And the conversation that has to be had here is that lighter skin, fairer skin, and fairer hair, things which happen to be typical of white people. The type of fair hair that you're talking about that's represented so much in media and such is the type of blonde hair that doesn't occur anywhere naturally. Or held as the beauty standard all around the world. Hey, Larry, do you think it's possible that the images we we grow up with and we're around all the time are some of the things that influence what we think is available? Hey, Larry. Now, it doesn't mean there are no black women that are thought of as beautiful. Tyra Banks is gorgeous. Do you mean before or after her plastic surgery? I mean, it's, it's not that it is a whites-only club, but those are the characteristics that everybody generally, generally speaking, oh, not all, yet again, but generally speaking, those are the characteristics that people look for and find attractive. Because apparently, these people aren't very attractive. And these people are, are, I guess they're supposed to be much more attractive even when they get older. That beautiful white skin and those, those gorgeous thin lips. Everybody wants thin lips, don't they? And even in the 80s, people loved thin, lifeless hair that had no body and was always the natural color. It's so natural. And to be fair, if it was all about skin tone, you would be doing better than Tyra Banks because you are a lighter shade than she is. It isn't about skin tone. Obviously, because you're not being swarmed in dudes, are you? But you're swarming with chicks, big boy. That bull dyke look you've got is so becoming of you. Mm. Mm. And I know you're not, because you wouldn't be here bitching about beauty standards if you were. You have to remember that you never said this to the other ladies. At this point, you're like the 400-pound feminist who's bitching about fat shaming and body standards being unrealistic. Such natural beauty. And natural beauty is never bad for anyone. It's usually a slim nose, having light skin, big eyes, long lashes, and hair that is the absolute opposite of mine. Typically, yes, because that's what people find attractive, generally speaking. And it isn't just white people, it isn't white guys or white women. It's black guys, it's black women, it's Indians, it's Asians, it's Hispanics. This is typically what people find more attractive. Lighter skin and fairer hair. <laughs> because orange is yellow hair. It's totally natural. It's natural. Like a natural can of Aquanet. Oh look, it's man's best friend. It's the German Shepherd. 
No other dog is beautiful like the German Shepherd. All of these dogs... All of these dogs are ugly and should never be in movies or on TV because everyone knows that the German Shepherd is the only beautiful dog. <laughs> I mean, don't be silly. It's in our biology. You see, this is why we're not banging, lady. We could be banging, but you gotta do this. <laughs> who wouldn't want to bang an asshole who looks like a bull dyke? What's wild is that if you're white, you might not even see it because it's so pervasive. Yes, I see it. What I don't see is a problem. It's natural. It's in our biology to think this is gorgeous. And the whole world agrees. Beauty standards are just what the overall average of people think is attractive. <laughs> you don't really understand beauty standards, do you? And what those people, whether they be white, black, Asian, Hispanic, Native American, it doesn't fucking matter, they generally have concluded that lighter skin and fairer hair is more attractive than darker skin and nappy hair. Citation needed. You'll have to find a source that says that those who aren't subjected to the kind of media that we have here and in Western industrialized countries that have the same kind of media, the places that don't have this imagery everywhere, you're going to have to prove that they think this is more attractive than everything else as well. That is what humanity as a whole generally has, has decided on. <laughs> because fashion and trends never change. The song Baby Got Back never, never changed anything about people's perceptions of what they like in someone's body. Because skinny butts that look like prepubescent boys are always what people always want. It's what they've always wanted. It never changed in the 40s and the 50s. It never changed in the 80s because style is static. It never changes. After all, it's in our biology. Eat my cock. Anytime, big boy. Are you going to use a strap-on? Strap-on. Strap-off.